of this already been a, a no the, the constitution but it wasn't the constitution wasn't written with us in mind no way it was written written for rich white rich. men the Edomites, man. it wasn't written for women it wasn't it was written for rich white men that's right okay so it says we the people Somehow. we the people we the people is talking about rich white men yeah of america and that's okay? why it wasn't even considered a person that, uh, neither, considered neither, like, neither was of a man neither was gay and, and they couldn't and they uh they spoke about the uh it, the sav they call it Gallic savages, savages in the um, Declaration of Independence. That's right. They said you sent us over here to deal with these savages. So they, they the Gallic, the Gallic don't have no constitutional they got rights. No rights. You know, they came over here to take them motherfuckers' ass over. Man. Yeah, that's right. You ain't got you no know? rights. That's right, man. So there's a lot to this thing. Uh, let's let's go to Romans, man. So that's why the police can roll up on Jake. And just kill, just uh, kill you. You three fifths of a man. Because uh, pursuant to the Constitution, they're not even uh, uh, individuals. But anyway. the white man's supposed to do that, man. Yeah, he's supposed to do. That. You should be happy the white man ain't enforced just killing you left and right. Yeah. yeah. You, you should be happy that he just got two of y'all in the last couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> but because if the change. white man wanted to, he can come out and call. When martial law come, he gonna You'll be do doing it. that. You gonna it. march then? When martial law come, right? When they, when the president declared martial law. And you protesting about uh, Black Lives Matter? They're gonna be blowing your ass away, man. You're killing right, man. You, you stupid niggas better get with the program, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you ain't with it, when that time come, I'm not, I'm not there to help you, man. Oh no, man. No. Okay. Man. We're gonna rejoice. Matter of fact, we're gonna be rejoicing when a lot of these niggas get killed by the white man. You I'm guys, looking forward to it, you man. Looking forward to it. You niggas, y'all yeah. crying about Trayvon Martin and. What the fuck is the nigga named Brown? And, Which was simple ass niggas. Simple Here niggas. that big nigga was selling Lucy's, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's say he wasn't. The nigga, first of all, he, he's a brown father wearing shorts and yeah, shit with a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morbidly obese. Right, right, right. <laughs> talking shit on the corner. He was an embarrassment. And that's he why he died. And man. that's why the nigga died. First of all, he was all, the reason his ass man, he couldn't breathe. Look at the nigga, he was overweight, obese. He was, he was, he wasn't taking care of himself. No. You know? You probably eating pork. He was yeah, doing he was. everything that the most I didn't want him to do. Right? What are you gonna pop off to the cops? You are number with a bunch of cops. Now the Bible the says, said, "Agree with that adversary." Agree with that adversary. Yeah, All that's still in the way. I ain't gonna have this no more. This is the last time. Not today. This is the last time. And then when they grabbed him, he was like, "I yeah. like, grab, 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 grab." He went. <laughs> <laughs> and then that cowboy, yeah, he jumped alone, on he jumped on him and played BC. He watched the UFC, man. Yeah, I mean, he leaped on him, and that's how you chug a nigga out too, man. And you know what? He, he was bigger than him. He jumped on him. He, he climbed on the nigga, and that's how you do that. You find a bigger nigga, you jump on him, and you you uh, straddle his ass. Go to the back. Yeah. Go to the back. You always go to the back. And you choke him, and you and you go back. You hey, can't you know, get out that shit, man. Hey, you know that guy's name, Daniel Pantaleo, right? That last name, Pantaleo, you know what it means? Breath of a lion. <laughs> hey. hey, a lion jumped in. Daniel Pantaleo. What is it you, Pantale right? Yeah, Pantaleo well, means breath of a lion. The God Dan Daniel means he is... He, he, judge, uh, judge. It means judge. Yeah, judge. Judge, breath of a lion. So the most I used the breath of a lion to take that. Nigga. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say so. His name means. That cop that killed that nigga. Yeah. He might have been an Israelite as damn self. He's a top. So, he was probably yeah, so you know. So he's just a simple ass Italian, yeah. a little fucking cowboy. Yeah. yeah. He, he was nothing but a damn cowboy, man. <laughs> but you know what? We don't feel uh, like the apostle been bringing out. We don't feel sorry about Eric Garner because the devil, right. the devil did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, man. that's right. He did what he's supposed to do, man. There's going to be many more. Hey, when the Romans during the time, Matt, Matt was that Matthew's two, when 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 uh, during the time of Herod, the cho soldiers went there, they made a declaration to kill all the babies uh, under two years old. Did they have picket signs? No, no. Black no. babies, Israelite babies, lives matter. It just went down like that, baby. And all that they had to deal with it, man. They had to eat it, man. It just went down. The devil's like in power, man. The devil can do whatever the fuck he right. wanted to, man. That's right. That's it. That's right. right. And the nigga woman is gonna get slaughtered. Oh, yeah. oh, See them God. things right there? They gonna get slaughtered. All yeah, they need to be. They need to be out of here. All man. that talk. The black shit. woman no. needs. I don't. Hey. If I go to the kingdom and I don't see no nigga woman, I'll nobody. be happy in the fact that boys tell me. I don't feel no way about it. But for real, man. You see the two things? They're completely out of order. The black woman is completely out of order, man. You okay. niggas don't talk about the black woman, you other Israelite niggas. You, don't you call them babies? They're going to die with them, the black woman. Man, you got your woman, that black woman of yours running the well, congregation. Well, that's, that's demon. She's a demon, that man. demon. She's a demon, man. 
Mosai might take our ass out. Yeah. And yeah. if and if the Mosai takes it route, that'd be a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. I right, go ahead, I. You want to Matthew second you want to You go to Matthew two. Matthew two. So uh, Matthew chapter two, <clears throat> verse one. Now when Yahweh Shah was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Yahweh Shah should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of the Most High in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Oh, boy. Now, 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 oh, them oh. clowns run on that, that, that uh, uh, the Lord is an Egyptian, because he came out of Egypt, all right? You had Israelites that went back and forth into Africa, man. You had Israelites that were scattered all up in Asia Minor. They were scattered all over the place. Right. You had the uh, Alexandrian Jews. That's right. That's During right. that time, too, what Elder Tar was talking about, if you go back into the history, like the Greek Empire, right? The Roman Empire came up on the hills of the Greek Empire. The Ptolemies had over 70,000 Israelites working for them in North Africa. Working for them there. So there was Israelites all up in North Africa, which Egypt right there, that's what? North Africa, isn't it? Yeah. So when the, when the angel told them, look, flee into Egypt, why? Because there was a colony of Israelites there. Now, we don't got to read no more on that, but the point was... We just we just read two prophecies right out of Matthew's second chapter. The fact that he was born in Bethlehem. Now when he came back to the land of Israel, he was raised up in Nazareth. That's right. And now now the scribes and the wicked scribes and Pharisees said you can't be the son of the, the Messiah because the Messiah was supposed to be born in Bethlehem, but they didn't know that he was born in Bethlehem, but he had moved to Nazareth. They didn't That's say right. he was gonna live in Bethlehem. And then he came out of Egypt, fulfilling the prophecy, my son shall come out of Egypt, man. Now let's go to uh, uh, Psalm 20, uh, uh, 22. You got, and, and why in the world would the Most High tell them to go into Egypt? Because they had to be other people of color down in that region. So they had they to, flee, could, to flee from the onslaught of Hera, the Edomite. Who were Caucasians. Okay. Right, go ahead, Ark. This is Psalm chapter 22, verse 1. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? Now, now, this is who, who's reading it. I mean, who's, who's singing that song? David. So, um, yeah, David. All right, King David. All right, he's singing. He's singing the song about his own son, yeah. which was a king, King Solomon. You know, the Lord was King Solomon in the reincarnation. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, my power, my power. Why has thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? And from the because he felt when he was on the cross, he felt the presence of the Lord and the power leave him. Okay, go ahead. 
and from the words of my roaring. Oh, he had power. He said, I have power to call down 12 legions of angels to destroy the Roman Empire. But now when he was on that cross, you know, he had he, he lost that power. The most I took that power. So if he was the backup man, I'm getting off. The, I'm using the spiritual. Nope. I took that power from me. Yeah. You got, I cut I cut you off and I turned my back. So you didn't feel the presence of the most high. Yeah. So that's when he kind of got nervous, man. You know? Go ahead. Plus he had to feel every uh, ounce of pain. That's right. And he had to pay for the sins that he committed as uh, Solomon, man. He had to feel that you know? pain. Yep. It says, Oh, my power, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, it am not silent. But thou art holy. O thou that inhabitest the pra the praises of Israel, our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted, and thou didest deliver them. They cried unto thee. Well, hold up, thou, thou trusted he, the, thy fathers trusted in thee, and thou delivered him. So don't worry about what you're going to do when the concentration camps come, and how, whether or not you're going to take the chip or not. All right, trust in the most high. That's right. That's it speaks about the hour of temptation. Okay. That's where faith comes from. That's why you. you know, that's and that's and that, that's how we, that's that's how we're gonna see who really got the faith and who's been faking it, man. We're gonna be tested, man. Okay. So you better get your mind right, man. Let the white just kill me, man. Just fucking kill me, man. That's it. Get it over with. Just kill me. All right. I ain't take. I'll kill you if you don't take. Kill me then. Fuck you, man. You know. Dead anyway. Dead anyway, scripture, anyway man. Scripture say. Uh, and you know you're going to spirit world. Yeah. Scripture say in the book of Psalm 44, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Right, tell me that ain't us. Sheep for the slaughter. You can roll up on a sheep. A sheep, a, a sheep ain't gonna put no resistance. Put up no resistance. You can roll up on a sheep and just take it out. Man. Now all these guys that sold out, man. Most I got a special death for them. Most I got a special death for Comfy, Johanna, and the rest of them guys, man. Yeah. Most I got a special. Most I gonna start bringing death, man. Yeah. Okay. And Go ahead. The shadow of death. That's right. And you know what you're gonna be like, like in that movie, uh, prayer. Hey, when the time come. I mean, but it's up to the Lord whether he's going to deliver you or not. But like, if Esau do grab you, you got to be like uh, William Wallace in the movie before they were taking him out to torture him. He said, Lord, give me the strength to die well. Yep, right. That was the prayer. He said, right. give me the strength to die well, man. That's right, that's right. right manfully. Because yep. you, you can have a manful death. You can have a shameful death. Hey, brother, if you scream and bitch about it, hey, fuck it. Kill me anyway. Then they go to God. Ah! Yeah. yeah, that's right. Then you die. Yeah, you know? shameful. Hey, the most I ain't gonna turn you away from heaven because you skid it in your pants. You no, know, I gotta, I gotta. And they chop, and they go to chop my head off. And just go ahead and chop it. Nah, nah, just stay with him. That's the mentality you know? have. Right? But it's up to the Lord because the scripture said there are some that shall not see death. Oh, so. But, but if you have to face death, you have to face that. But that's the test. We're well, already whatever. dead. Yeah. The thing is, we're already dead. We're not living. Are we living? No. Is this living? No. This ain't living, man. You read about the scriptures. You read about Solomon. Now, Solomon, that was living. That was opulence, man. Solomon, every morning he got He was up. living good. He was living he good. He was living good. But when he came back, he had to pay for that. He that's had right. to pay for that stuff, man. That's right. He, that was just an example. Of, uh, of real, and then when you read about the future prophecies of how we're going to be in the kingdom, that is living. We ain't, we ain't got that here. We're going to be, we're going to live better than Solomon lived. Huh? We're going to live better than a, a thousand times better than Solomon. Yeah. So if he had a thousand women, how many women are we going to have? Huh? Yeah, more than a thousand. <laughs> really? Like, Furthermore, there's women that, those women are going to be disease-free. You can't even imagine that now. And they're going to be your women. And Virgins. they're not going to they're not going to cheat on you. Yeah. They're not even going to think about cheating on you because you can read their minds, man. You, you can't even imagine that now. The average woman you meet, they look good. Like I said, we said that earlier. How many men are... She's a through? nasty fucking hoe, man. Right. All these black women, these right. singers, these rappers, they're nasty hoes, man. Every oh, last one of them are nasty. Because for them to get that contract... They had to suck a guy's penis and they had to have a train pulled pull on him, man. Them are nasty. All the women are nasty hoes, man. You name them, they, they, they got, they freak, Esau freaked off on them, man. Okay? And they're all fake and classic, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. All of them, they, they all gonna fucking die, man. Beyonce, the most I gonna get, get her and her fucking demonic sister yeah. and her yeah. fucking demonic mother. Yeah. All right, all of them, man. And guess what? Good. Hey, when Aaliyah died, we, we joked oh, about we it, man. That's right. We, we, we joked about place, it, yeah. man. I don't give a fuck we about that. Oh, no you know what's funny? That's you know, right. Aaliyah means one high, one exalted. And her last 